Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining in for this short devotional. Well, this is election week, and I don't know what kind of feelings that stirs up in your heart. This has been a hard year, hasn't it? It's been a hard year in so many different ways with COVID, with uh, racial unrest. The election has been particularly difficult, I think, this uh, campaigning season and, and all that's been going on. There's a lot of angst and anxiety and I think there's a lot of fear in people. And I don't know if it's worse. I don't know if it's just all this stuff kind of has a cumulative effect on us maybe, but there, at least I've sensed maybe a sense of anxiety and fear in, um, in the church. And, um, and not just in the church, but uh, of course that's, that's where uh, th those are the folks we spend a lot of time with in our congregation. We all spend time with one another. And uh, so I want to just say a couple of things. We're going to sing some songs that maybe address some of this, um, this confidence that we have where it, where it ought to be placed. I'm not going to tell you anything you don't already know. You know, I know that. Uh, you're tuning in for this Sunday night Devo, or maybe you're watching it on Monday night or Tuesday night or whatever. But um, you, uh, you, you want your life to be right. You know, you want to follow Jesus. And so this is not earth shattering what I'm about to to remind you of, but that's what it is. I need reminders and you probably need them as well because it's so easy to lose focus and start thinking about the wrong things and start kind of getting our lives um, disordered, things out of order. They're just not what they ought to be. And, and maybe that's happened with us a little bit this year at times. Uh, the first song we're going to sing is called Exalted God or, or just Exalted. Or sometimes I've seen it, Build Your Kingdom Here, but it's a beautiful song. And I think it speaks to this moment. So if you're watching this on Sunday night or Monday night, uh, the election is coming out this, this week. It's, it's in the future for us. And I don't know how you're feeling. I don't know how you're feeling about who might win or it, um, if, if it's going to be the person you want or, or not. That's really irrelevant to this conversation. But, but what is relevant is how, does, how do those election results that will come out on you know, late Tuesday night or Wednesday or whatever, um, how... how do those potential results cause you to feel? I think that's, that's kind of a relevant conversation that we ought to have with ourselves, a, a kind of thing that we ought to be thinking about. And what we need to be reminded of, what I need and what you need, because I think all of us sense this uh, unease about the future, and we're a little bit concerned, regardless of what happens, that man, there's just this kind of increasing kind of uh, bitterness between a lot of people in our, in our country. And so that scares us a little bit when we think about where this is going to go and policies and all that. So here's a reminder. This is where we got to come back to ultimately, right? And this is where we got to come back to. And in this song, this first song, we're going to sing about it. Now, the song says several times in the chorus as it repeats, is build your kingdom here. Don't get confused by that. God's kingdom is wherever Jesus reigns, and so the church is a manifestation of the reign of God. So, so don't think that it is necessarily some future thing, though there is a sense in which God's fully realized kingdom is, is in the future. But what this song is helping us to think about is we need, to, we need God to build his kingdom here because that is what changes people's hearts. It's not election results. It's not getting the right people in office. Though those things matter. It's, it's not that, that, that that's irrelevant. But what ultimately matters is, is Jesus Christ the king of your heart and of your life and mine? And how many people can we tell about him? And, and how many people can we convince to submit their lives to the lordship of Jesus Christ and claim him as their king of kings and lord of lords? That's what matters this week and every week. And so maybe we need that reminder. Uh, I want to read just a little bit, a few of the lyrics here. The chorus is, build your kingdom here. Let the darkness fear. The darkness is what ought to be afraid, not us. Show your mighty hand, heal our streets and land. Set your church on fire, win this nation back. Change the atmosphere, build your kingdom here, we pray. That's the chorus. We'll sing that maybe three times or so in this song. And and those words are, are, are really, really important, and they, they get pretty close to home. Let the darkness fear, show your mighty hand, heal our streets and land, set your church on fire, win this nation back, change the atmosphere, build your kingdom here, we pray. That's our prayer. 
And we're going to sing two songs after that. And they are living by faith and hold to God's unchanging hand. I thought those fit pretty well because we need uh, we need to trust in the Lord. You know, we, we submit to him and we want him to do his will. And so we want to live our lives by faith, not by fear. And we want to hold to God's unchanging hand. Uh, election cycles come and go and presidents come and go. Senates and houses of representatives come and go. But God's hand is steady and nothing surprises him. He doesn't get bent out of sorts about who wins and loses. It doesn't affect God. God is in control ultimately. And so our prayer is that he will keep building his kingdom in us and across the world, not only in America, but in every land so that more and more people might proclaim God as, as their king. Uh, and so I hope this is meaningful to you as you sing and as you pray and as you think. And as we go through the whatever the week holds and whatever 2021 and beyond hold for us, that we're holding to his unchanging hand and uh, joining with him as he builds his kingdom. Let's pray together. Father, thank you so much that you are our king, that you're building your kingdom, that the darkness might fear, that you can change the atmosphere, Lord, that you can set your church on fire and we can be about your work, helping people to know how beautiful Jesus is and how incredible it is that you've called us, you've called the world to be a part of your family. Help us not to live by fear, but by faith. Help us to hold to your unchanging hand, knowing, dear God, that you are our sovereign King of kings and Lord of lords. We ask this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us, we pray. Unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope, like wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. We are your church. Let the
Changing hands. 